Assalamualaikum, Amar Nam Maria. Assalamualaikum, Amar Nam Rabia. Welcome to Malaysia Rex Channel. Today we going to react on a video. Bangladesh is the worst country in the world. Why is worst? I am not sure. And the channel is Project Nightfall. Okay, let me find the answer from this yeah. video. Let's watch it. Let me tell you about one of the worst countries in the world. Its capital is one of the least livable cities, incredibly polluted and one of most densely populated. Traffic is insane. Poverty is just everywhere. Some of you have been asking me for a video about Bangladesh and I can't help but ask why. Is there even anything good about Bangladesh? Wow, Night Farm, it's actually quite difficult to say all of these bad words. But sadly, every negative thing I've said is what some people instantly think when they hear the country Bangladesh. They think it's black-minded third world country with no power. But let this video prove you wrong. This is what the world never knew about Bangladesh. First up, I bet most of you don't know that YouTube was co-founded by a Bangladeshi German. Yes, the two billion people from all over the world who use this platform have to thank Jawed Karim, who even uploaded the very first YouTube video. Still on the internet, would you believe that the largest internet school in the world, which has educated over 10 million students, was also founded by part Bangladeshi Salman Khan and the the longest female-led government in the world also in Bangladesh. In fact, female Bangladeshis are so efficient and hardworking that 80% of the country's workers are actually women. Now, I am personally excited to know that Bangladesh is also a welcoming place for vegetarians like me. So much fresh fruit around, it looks so good. No wonder it's also one of the least obese countries in the world. And from keeping healthy, to keeping peace. Bangladesh is also a major contributor to the UN peacekeeping operations, having the third largest military in South Asia. Now, Night Farm, here comes the most impressive of all. Bangladesh was once the second poorest country in the world, but now it's one of the fastest growing economies. See, only three years after becoming an independent country in 1971, extreme hunger killed 1.5 million Bangladeshis. Add to that the fact that the country has always been hit by massive floods. For a long time, Bangladesh was incredibly poor and politically unstable. It's never easy to rebuild your country when things are so difficult. But because bad past doesn't mean bad future, Bangladesh made an impressive shift. Not only in fighting poverty over the years, but now being a model for development for the rest of the world. Because of its booming garment industry, some people call Bangladesh the next China, economically speaking. After all, it's one of the top exporters of clothing in the whole world. And having all of these positives in mind, the land of Bengals certainly deserves much more respect than the world gives it. As someone who comes from a highly underrated country of Poland, a very globally unpopular country where so many people don't know much about it, I am very passionate about giving credit to countries for their positives. Bangladesh may be a young country. And of course, it has so many things to work on. I could literally make a full video based on just the negatives, but why would I do it? There are so many people already who just focus on the negatives. This video is different. The fact that Bangladesh managed to become one of the fastest growing economies literally from being the second poorest country in the world may Bangladesh be the voice of all the underrated nations that are on the way to the top.
interesting. Yes, I um, feel very amazed with this video. Mm -hmm. Second place in the world back then and now mm -hmm. see how fast Bangladesh grow. Right, right especially right. when the pandemic attack our world. Mm -hmm. Wow, 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 mashallah. <laughs> I really love when he mentioned focus on positivity, mm. positive side. So if you if you want to focus on the negative, a lot of things to say. Yes. But you will never end. True. That's so true. why we should sp speak uh, or uh, talk about the negative if we can talk about positive? positive. Because I believe every country have negative and also positive Pros and cons yes so we should just focus on the positive side mm -hmm. and forget about negative side mm -hmm. flood happened many times in bangladesh but now i don't i cannot see uh, any news about flood in bangladesh so often like last time i think they overcome hmm, that's, the, the issue that's very good so we that they can grow faster and faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, recently we react on the Japan. Mm, yes. Yeah, Japan helped the Bangladesh mm. to grow. They, they invest on, mm, the, they on Bangladesh. Bangladesh. So it's interesting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, hopefully uh, now and in the future, people all over the world won't see Bangladesh as a third minded. Uh, country so I think that uh, there's no reason for us not to visit Bangladesh mm, mm -hmm. yes inshallah one day inshallah we wait for your LRT <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes when all your public transport is ready so it's easier for us to go anywhere right anytime mm. and it's uh, time saving as well mm, true 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 so we can try all of your uh, nice foods in Bangladesh. And also facility. Mm, yes, yeah. that's true. Let's see what Bangladesh will offer us. <laughs> yes, the, yes. The, the diversity, the food, the hospitality, mm, mm, the people. Mm, mm, mm. True, true. Okay, so that's all for our video today. If you like this video like we do, please share this video to your family members and friends. And don't forget to share it to your social media as well. Please subscribe our channel Malaygurex and turn on notification button so you guys won't miss our latest video please follow our social media account facebook and tiktok Malaygurex see you guys at our next video bye assalamualaikum, assalamualaikum.